Get access to exclusive tutorials and take your paracord weaving to the next level by supporting this channel on Patreon. Hey what's going on guys, Tim here again. In today's video we're learning how to make the spiked trilobite paracord bracelet. A design by Andro Shippis. And if you guys like the trilobite design, this one is definitely for you. Let's get into it. So to start this bracelet off, we are using a six strand core double cow's hitch on buckles. And if you don't know how to do this setup, the link is in the video description box down below. This will be a self-contained core. So you can see how we have two cords coming out the top left and right. Uh, what we're going to do is clip off those ends and just melt the end of the paracord so that um, yeah, the entire six strand core becomes self-contained and the rest of the working paracord will be woven onto that. So I just clipped off that excess there. I'm just going to take my lighter and melt that bit of paracord. Be careful if you're doing this with buckles. Of course, you don't want to melt the buckle. So I did that on the right side. So be sure to melt and press down on the cord enough so that it doesn't come loose from the rest of the six strand core setup. Make sure you do that on both sides. Next, we're going to incorporate our working paracord. So I've got my piece of paracord and I'm just going to pass it over the two middle strands and it'll be sitting underneath the two outside strands, All right? And get both sides equal. So you have an equal amount of paracord on both sides before starting. So starting with the right side, we're gonna take that cord and put it underneath the two middle cords from the right side to the left and bring a majority over the cord to that side. Now working with that same cord, we're going to go through the first two cords. Okay. We're going to go over the first and under the second one, like so. And again, bring a majority of that cord over back to the right side. Still working with that same right side cord. Now we are going to go underneath the last two cords that is going from the left to the right. So the last two on the right. Now I did make a slight mistake here. See how I went over the um, loop on the right side. You actually need to go underneath that loop, but I will correct it in a second on screen, as you can see. So before you tighten and um, pull every, pull all the excess out, you want to make sure that cord is underneath like so. You see how it's going underneath the two last two cords and then it'll come out the back. So you want your setup to look just like this right now. And from there, you can push the cords up and start tightening and getting all the excess out. So I like to take all the excess from the right side out first, and then I clear it on the left side. And again, I'm keeping, uh, and again, I'm pushing everything up and uh, you don't want to pull too tight because it will start to deform, but just give it enough tension so that it uh, looks proper. Next, working with the left side cord, we're going to do the same thing except mirrored. So again, underneath the two middle cords, like so, going from left to right this time. And now again, I'm going through the um, two last cords from the front. So I'm going underneath cord number five, if you count from left to right. And then lastly, I'm going to go underneath cords one and two. And this time I did it properly. I went out the back and I did not go over that loop. Okay. So I'm going to push up on it a little bit. And again, I'm going to clear the excess on the left side first this time. And then bring it out to um, clear it on the right. So push up and make sure all the cords are sitting properly. And again, give it just enough tension so that it starts, it starts to form the pattern. So again, we're going to do that pattern a couple more times. So again, right side cord, we're back on the right side, go underneath the first two middle cords. 
bring it back the way you came and go in between chords one and two and then go underneath the last two chords. And again, I'm gonna pull a majority of the chord to the right side and push up on it. And before I finish, I'm going to cinch out the excess like so. And make sure you get rid of any twists that do happen. Back again on the left side, again underneath the first two, or sorry, the two middle chords. Bring that from the left to the right. And again, going in between the outermost chord from the front. Bring that over the two middle chords and again, go under the two on the left. This pattern is actually quite simple once you get the hang of it and you can actually weave the entire bracelet quite quickly. So again, get out all that excess and you can start to see the uh, spiked trilobite pattern forming. So this is the pattern. We've gone through it uh, four times and it's about uh, two sets of knots. And you're just going to again, continue this very same pattern as you go down your bracelet. And here is a slightly sped up version of it. And as you can see, um, the knot is very simple to do. And once you get the hang of it, um, you'll have this bracelet done in relatively a small amount of time. Now getting towards the bottom of the bracelet, uh, I did melt the ends of my paracord. So um, they're kind of like fids on the end. Uh, you can definitely do that if you don't have many fids to spare and it's actually a lot easier. So uh, you can do that or you can again, just use paracord fids and do whatever you want. And I'm still just continuing that same pattern, but um, it will be a little bit more difficult because you are uh, a little bit more cramped down at the end of this bracelet. So just continue doing that pattern all the way to the bottom and um, you'll have about maybe uh, it's about half a centimeter of a quarter of an inch left before we finish it off. So just continue that pattern all the way to the bottom until you can't go anymore. Now I've got a slight gap left on the bottom and I'm going to take the left chord. I'm going to go in between the second and third chord from the front to the back and that'll kind of complete the design on the left side. And then you can put that chord aside. Now with the right side chord, we're going to go in between the fifth and sixth chord from the back to the front like so. I'm going to pull that all the way to the front. And then we're going to go from the front to the back between the fourth and fifth chord like so and now that chord will now be coming out the back and I want to cover up that little bit in the middle again so now I'm going to go in between the second and third from the back and I'm just going to use my knotter's tool to make a bit of an opening for me to get in there so I'm going to clear a path with my knotter's tool and I'm going to bring that chord to the front and once that is over the front, again, you're going to go through the gap in between the third and fourth, just to finish off that little center des bridge design. And again, I'm going to use my fid just to clear a bit of space. And bring that cord in from the front to the back and pull that all the way through. And it's going to cover up those two cords in the middle nicely. And there we have it. Of course, so to finish off, we've only got two terminal cords to cut off. I'm gonna snip those off and melt them where they are. And again, I'm gonna press down on them with my knotter's tool, just so they're nice and out of the way, and nice and comfortable.
Okay, and there we have it. We are finished. This was the Spiked Trilobite by Andrew Shippis. Remember guys, I do run a Patreon page to support this channel. If you want access to exclusive tutorials, feel free to check out those links in the video as well as down below. And also feel free to check out the links down below on where to get Paracord and all the other supplies I use in this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.